I want to document what life is like as a remote worker who travels. I want to do more of this. And I want to share real life experiences. I don't want to sell the dream. Because if I'm going to inspire people to become a remote worker and travel around the world and create their own memories, I want them to be armed with real life experiences. Yes, that's the first problem about Danan, is that there's just construction everywhere. Everywhere you go, I've got literally two doors down here, we've got construction, big construction behind me. Everywhere you go, there's construction noise. Now, I don't mind city noise, but construction work drives me mad. And when you're in your apartment trying to work, it's not great but there's not a great deal you can do about it. The weather has also been a problem whilst I've been in Da Nang for like five or six days straight, it's been raining, and it's just the type of rain where you get absolutely drenched. It's been flooding in the streets around me. It's been crazy, and it's meant that I've not been able to get out exploring and creating videos, but more just exploring and seeing the place, forgetting, you know, not been able to do videos, which I love to do, but just exploring has been impossible. Going over the road to the noodle shop, <laughs> you get absolutely drenched. But uh, that's a situation that I'm in right now here in Danan. And, you know, most of my videos are very positive. There's very few negative videos, but I have got a bit of a negative mindset right now because of the noise, because of the weather. If the weather was better, I would be able to get out exploring and the construction noise wouldn't be a problem because it finishes by about 4 p.m. and into the evening. It's fairly quiet, even though some nights you get a local neighbor playing Vietnamese dance music, which is quite entertaining for the first couple of times and then it gets annoying as hell. And then there's the dogs barking. But yes, city life I can deal with, but there's just certain noises that drive me mad. So, yes, it's been a rather negative experience so far here in Da Nang and there's not a great deal you can do about it. You've got options. You either put up with it <laughs> or you move on. And my gut actually is telling me to stay because my dream is to spend Christmas Day on the beach, walking on the beach in the sunshine, the white sand, the sea, that's what I'm dreaming of, that's what I'm wanting, that's what I'm grasping. And I'm just hopeful that that's gonna happen. The forecast isn't great. The forecast is to literally rain all day, but something inside of me is telling me to stay. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have moved on by now because moving on is obviously more expensive. I've got to find new accommodation. I don't think I'll get much money back from this place if I leave early because I'm in a, a long-term, 30-day uh, contract on Airbnb um, and then obviously there's a, the cost of flights and that kind of thing and the hassle of having to travel so I, I don't feel that it's that bad that I need to leave right now if it gets worse if the weather continues to be bad then yes I might make a decision to move on and go somewhere else but there's not a great deal you can do about it and you just have to deal with it so I've been going to the coffee shops which have been great to work from. The internet's really good, it's fast, you've got plug sockets, you've got comfortable seating. Uh, the food here is amazing, I'm loving the Vietnamese food, really enjoying it and it's so cheap as well, really cheap. But yeah, just everything else is kind of getting a little bit on top of me but my gut is telling me to keep here to live the dream of spending that day on the beach. And it might be that I'm just sat on this balcony on Christmas Day, raining and miserable weather, but you know, that's, that's the gamble that I'm prepared to take. Um, you can hear the birds chirping amongst the, uh, the noise of the construction. <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> but yes, this is life as a remote worker and I wanted to share this experience with you all because I think it's really important. It's so easy as a video creator to share everything that's positive about the lifestyle. 
they share the beautiful blue skies as you're exploring around and in reality you, you get days like this not this many days but you get days where the weather isn't great and you just have to chill out in your apartment I've watched so much Netflix whilst I've been here I've gone full through full series uh, on Netflix um, I've got a lot of work done on my website which I'm officially launching in January I'll share more about that soon. I'm also going to be launching a new channel which will be focused on advice for remote workers. It's more sat down advice videos rather than the exploring which is what I want to keep on this channel. So yeah, I'm going to, I'll talk about all that in a future video. But yeah, this is life in Da Nang. It is what it is. You've got to try and keep positive. It's now 1pm. I'm going to go and grab myself some beef noodles. The noodles here are incredible especially the crispy, crispy, what they call spring rolls, that's the word I was thinking of. But yeah, here's a video, bit negative, sorry about that, but this is life as a remote worker sometimes, there's nothing you can do about it, you either stay, put up with it, or move on. And I might just do that yet, who knows, maybe in my next video I'll be somewhere else, or maybe I'll be exploring in Da Nang, we shall see. Until then, take care and travel safe. Noodles! Ha 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 ha! Noodle time!